like a cicada. Who's cicada? Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 2, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, I will have my trailer breakdown for Episode 3 out later tonight. It is an amazing trailer, I am so intrigued. Yeah, let's break down this episode, let's do my review, and my overall thoughts on the episode was that this was... An outstanding episode I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it throughout the only weakness was probably the main meta Vanessa Jansen in the episode she was just your average meta she wasn't bad but also she wasn't that good but that's the only thing still a 5 out of 5 episode for me because I am so intrigued with what's going on with Cicada especially and how they're taking this season it's got that nice tone the mix of the darkness and the humor with Cisco, Ralph and Caitlyn really really works and that's something that didn't work last season for me and the combination of that tone thoroughly worked for me in this episode as well as last episode. So let's break down this. I'm not going to go in chronological order, but I'm going to go over the main parts of the episode. So let's start with the ending scene. So Cicada actually kills the meta of the episode, which was very, very shocking. He throws his dagger straight into her, and then we get the introduction, obviously, for the first time Cicada sees Team Flash, and they actually fight. Cicada takes away all their powers using his dagger as it goes into the ground, and we are given an amazing fist fight scene where we see the true power of Cicada, and as Cicada's about to stab and kill Barry, he stops because Nora comes and says, Dad. And so this really, really intrigues me because Cicada's look at Nora makes me infer that perhaps he knows her or that there is some sort of connection. Maybe Nora has time traveled. And I feel like with what's happening, with what happens right at the end, when Nora says it sounds like a cicada when they're looking at the screen, she definitely knows who Cicada is, so that is the connection, and I think there's something deeper than that. Maybe due to her time traveling, changing the timeline, Cicada has begun his reign of terror earlier. And in the trailer for next week's episode, they say he is one of the worst serial killers in all of history. So Nora definitely knows about Cicada, and she's gonna be serving some of the history to Team Flash and us. It's just that look. I'm so intrigued to see perhaps the greater connection that they have, but that really, really intrigues me. I love the darkness of that scene and the sheer brutality of Cicada, how he doesn't hold back, very similar to, say, Zoom. So throughout the episode, Iris is actually investigating the Cicada killings that he's been doing. Obviously, he killed the meta from last episode, and Iris is the one that obviously leads to this conclusion that this person they saw was the person that killed the other meta. There is that vast connection. And it's very interesting that they're setting up Cicada so early on. Apparently, he's still going to be around up to at least the mid-season. I do think potentially another villain may take over due to the massive role he's having straight away because next episode's a Cicada-heavy episode because they're going to continue on from this episode. So let's move on past that, and at the start of the episode, Nora reveals to everyone the 2049 newspaper that Barry never comes back, at least 25 years in the future, and they say they are going to change the future because they've done that before. So with them trying to change the future, if they do change this version of the future where Barry wouldn't actually go missing and he would be there with Nora, this version of Nora would not exist, it would be a totally different version, so we would have the Savitar thing going on with the timeline. Perhaps I'll do another video on that sometime later this week, but I find it very, very interesting that they're going to change the future, but obviously the precaution is Nora's life is going to change, and technically Nora would never come back here because she wouldn't have that need to actually see her father, so there's a whole timeline loop right there that obviously is a struggle, but they're gonna get around it somehow, and I'm super intrigued. I love the timeline and time travel stuff that they include in The Flash. So another part of the episode that worked really well was when Barry and Nora were training together as Barry becomes the teacher and 
essentially Nora makes all these mistakes as they go into fights, as they're actually practicing. It's because Nora wants to impress her, we get an amazing pep talk with Joe and Barry, as Barry's sort of freaking out over Nora and how she acts and essentially we get the wrap up of why Nora acts this way and she's going to be a bit more disciplined I think from this episode onwards and we get some really nice callbacks to season one in them showing some old videos and you know various things like that which is really really intriguing to me and I love that they're linking back to season one because this does feel like a season one episode as well as episode one this season which is very very exciting because season one's like one of the best seasons and if we move on past there, probably one of the most interesting things apart from the Cicada and Nora and Iris stuff this episode, which was definitely my favourite because it was heavy on that, was the scenes throughout the episode with Caitlyn. So we actually find out at the end of the episode that her mum wrote that fake death certificate for her father, which has sparked my attention and I'm sure it sparked your attention due to why would she fake this? There's a lot of mystery surrounding it and surrounding her father. And we're going to be seeing her father very, very soon, and perhaps he's going to be Icicle. That is about it for this video, guys. I know I didn't, like, break down every single scene. There was some nice scenes with Iris and Joe talking about Nora. The Cisco, Ralph, and Caitlin stuff, like I mentioned at the start of this video, was extremely funny. I'm really liking Ralph this season. He's really working for me, unlike he didn't work for me last season, so that's very exciting. Please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, and also, if you guys could do me a favour and go to the link in the description below and go sign up for Skillshare, where you can get classes on filmmaking, you can get classes on writing, classes on anything really that you want to do, perhaps making videos online. There is everything, and it would really, really help me if you guys could actually sign up. It's two months free and that is all it is and it just helps me out so I can get these sponsored videos again and so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later goodbye